You see, they make these videos about like short kings and queens. Like, I, I feel like Black Bear, he, didn't he make a song about that? I'm a fun size, super nice guy. And like, no matter what, it seems like the tall folk really don't get any love, okay? And I love each and every one of you, you willow tree looking ass, okay? The people that actually stand above the six foot number and not just for the dating apps and hopes you find somebody, but actually are a miracle girl baby. And now you worry about if you're like able to even date somebody that's taller than you if you're a girl, which is kind of like weird. I don't really understand how that works, but don't fret, okay? I think it's bad. I'm Alex, Alex R. Martini with two underscores, and today we're gonna be walking through a few cars that you could pick up that also fit your observation deck of a brain because you are maybe just a little bit taller than the average five foot seven. Speaking of which, it would mean a lot if you subscribed and drop a comment on a car that you owned or sat in where you thought to yourself, yeah, this is not gonna work. If you told me why, that'd be good too. I, I one time I sat in a first gen Viper and realized that you have to like kink your leg to drive the the car because the trans tunnel is massive and these dumpy thighs just weren't a part of it. Oh, and by the way, if you want to support past just a subscription, we have a new tea on the website over at alexmartini.net or you can pick it right up here on the YouTube channel as well because that does that thing now, which is pretty sick. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually do really enjoy cars that everyone can try to enjoy a little bit. And we could talk about how most people that are a little bit taller go for Bentleys, okay? Because of the headroom. But we're more on like a ramen budget than sashimi. Mm. And we're not NBA, you know, Hall of Famers. So we're gonna try and keep it relatable versus the rare chance that Paolo is watching this, okay? Now starting off at the top, the FK8 Honda Civic Type R actually has quite a bit of headroom, okay? Coming in just a hair short of 40 inches with 42.3 inches of legroom, the FK8 Hot Boy Type R actually has quite a bit of space. Now to give you a good comparison to like the rich equivalent version, a 2018 Bentley Continental GT has 40 inches of front headroom. So instead of that, you can pick up an FK8 and buy three houses to rent and still avoid the feeling of being like ultra cramped, which is something that most people are gonna want. Now remember, the FK8 Honda Civic Type R also is a pretty decent buy in the mid 30,000 range, comes with right about 306 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque, and with a two liter turbo engine, you still get pretty decent gas mileage. Now, there's a chance that your date may not dig the massive wing as much as you do, or the parallelograms that are going on all over the car. You could go on a bicycle date or something, secure the package before convincing him or her that you own a video game car, and that'd probably work too. Which, by the way, people are getting mad at me that I don't insanely love the new Type R. I'm not saying I like the fake vents. I'm just saying I liked that it was aggressive and way out there. I just wish the vents were real, and I wish there were more vents on the new one. I'm not, I'm not a hater. I just have an opinion. Okay, and they're kind of like assholes. If you're more on the Euro side of the fence versus a Japanese tuner, then I can honestly say the F82, F83 M4 is another really great choice. And it's a newer car from BMW that originated back in 2014. The M4 is a great pick that comes with a three liter twin turbo inline six and can also come equipped with either a manual or a seven speed dual clutch if that's more your thing. But we're not here to talk about power plants and bragging rights of our favorite halo headlight car manufacturer. We're here to talk about if you can actually fit your noggin without it being kinked at 10 p.m. when you're driving to the local in and out, okay? This has it, 39.8 inches of headroom in the front with 42.2 inches of legroom, which can fit most people relatively well. Now, I can personally say that while you can fit, the downside is that the competition seats can be a little uncomfortable on the long rides versus the standard seats that you can get. I have to bring a pillow every single time we go down south. Every single time we go to Slime Enough Gatlinburg, literally every time like clockwork, I don't have to go pee. I have to rest these shaky hips, okay? But Alex, I want a Miata because all the cool kids that are new in the scene buy Miatas. And, and I just wanna know if I'll fit. No. No, you will not. Okay, S2000s, Miatas, and even Datsuns can be tight fits for folks that put the capital T in tall. And I'm sorry, you can do things to make it work, like removing wind visors and all that sort of stuff. But no, if you want a small compact car that can still give you the smiles like a Miata or an S2000 can, then I would definitely recommend checking out the Porsche 981 Cayman. Boxer, you know what I mean? Yes, I know it's not as affordable as an entry-level Miata, and I know it would require some financing sometimes, but the 981 is a great car. Considered by almost everyone that's driven a Porsche as the best affordable version of the platform, the 981 has a lot of options for taller folks to adjustable seating, steering wheel angle, leg room, and headspace. And because you can get it as like a convertible, I don't like convertibles. I love them, okay? They're just kind of ugly. You still get the feeling of like the wind going through your hair and maybe your actual 
you know, forehead. I usually am not a massive fan of convertibles because of how they look, but you really cannot beat the feeling of a vert on a fall day with some crisp air, okay? You just can't. Grab yourself a little you know, caramel macchiato, call it good. And the 981 gets you a good platform for all types of activities. From cruising to racing to autocross, the 981 has a large enough community that most replacement parts and issues can be fixed with ease. And because of the popularity of the platform, you can find even a Cayman base for under $20,000, which is actually cheaper than a Miata Grand Touring convertible right now. ND, you can get a cheaper Porsche than a Miata. Let that sink in. And if all else fails and you're just looking to get something that's relatively standard, you can buy parts maybe at the local AutoZone and you don't need to deal with part numbers and SKUs that are written in another language and you wanna support the old big three. The Chevy Camaro is a super safe, fun buy that can fit pretty much anyone. Like in height and a little bit of width, it's good. After all, it is one of America's most popular platforms ever manufactured, which means they had to build it for a wide range of people. Now, does this mean it's gonna feel as nimble as a smaller coupe? No, it, no, it won't, okay, not inherently. But that's why these cars desperately need your help, your good old pine saw tree love, okay? They need upgraded suspension that's a bit stiffer, some quality rubber to keep the car planted, and likely some bushing updates to the anti-roll bar system, sway bars to stiffen up the driving experience, some coilovers, give her a good old one, two on the underside, and you're pretty much good to go, because once you have that, the weight and the size of the car won't be nearly as noticeable. The 2018 Ask Camaros have really decent headroom at 38 and a half inches with 43.9 inches of legroom. But another reason this car works really well is because of the width too. If you got a big tush, okay, you need something that doesn't just have like an X and a Y axis, you need something with a little bit of that Z axis too, the Camaro does it well. And you can snag them for a good price and modify them to whatever delight you prefer. While there are countless cars like Challengers and Chargers, Q60s, and even the 370Z convertible that can also fit people that have heard of the joke, is the weather up there? I actually dated somebody in sixth grade and I think her name was like, I don't remember, but I said that to her cause she was tall, Katie, Kayla. Kayla. And then she didn't want to date anymore. Anyway, uh, those are some of my top picks that should be a really good starting point for those that are either looking to jump into the scene or change up the car they currently have for something that's a bit more built for them. But what do you think? Let me know what you think is a car I miss. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribed. I'm Alex, alex.martini with two underscores on Instagram, and we will see you tomorrow. Adios.